am Kat, this is Lisa. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. On here, I talk about style, fashion, shopping, all that kind of thing. Today, we're actually talking about fragrances and I'm very excited. Lisa's brought some fragrance fragrances. I have some fragrances. We are going to smell them, give them some reviews, and then we have some awards to give them so that you better know what you might like. So if that sounds cool, let's get into it. Uh, best date scent. So the best scent to wear on a date, in case you didn't understand the words I just used. Uh, so best date scent. Mm -hmm. We've got best everyday scent. Yep. We have got... Best work scent. Best work scent. Yep. Uh, we have got the overall most fall scent. Yeah. We're each mm -hmm. choosing one for each other. Like what's my favorite? Out of each other. Yes. What's so one? out of these ones that we may not have even smelled before, we'll yeah. choose one. Uh -huh. And then we have best in show as well. Top choice, signature scent, yes. only can pick one. So that is the plan for today. And to give you a better idea of who we are in terms of our fragrance preferences, we will tell you right now some of our favorites overall, uh, generally brands we like, that kind of thing. To give you an idea, I am not super picky when it comes to scents. Uh, I will try just about anything. Um, and I do like citrus, but I don't have a lot of fruity stuff. So I have never really gravitated towards pear or apple, things like that. And additionally, things that are too sweet that not that they're one note, but things that are very targeted in terms mm -hmm. of their sweetness, that is also not usually my preference. I do like a lot of feminine scents. I love floral. I'm big on floral. And I also really like unisex. And I also have some men's scents that are traditionally more masculine that I also wear. Some of my favorite fragrance makers, I love Kate Spade. I also love Juicy Couture. I really like them. And Juicy Couture, I think, might be, not that it's like too young for me, but I wore it when I was younger. Mm -hmm. And so I don't tend, I will still wear them, but I don't tend to buy new ones. I would say if I had to pick mm. my favorite Bath and Body Works scent, I honestly do like Blue Light Bath because it's a classic mm -hmm. and I'm uh, basic in that way. Mm -hmm. uh, and Teakwood are my favorites. So it's like, mm, yeah. perfect. perfection. Yeah. So, Let's hear about Lisa. Yes, so I. what's great about this is that while Kat and I definitely have things that we share, that we like a lot, uh, I definitely have a, a different palette than Kat does as far as scents. So I definitely do like sweet scents. I like sweet scents and I do like fruity scents. So um, if you do like fruity and sweet, so yeah, I definitely don't click will have the video. Right. You know, we right. got you covered. I definitely will have you covered for those things. But I don't exclusively like those things. I definitely also like um, I like adding some florals into my um, scent palette, but I also really like woody. I like clean scents. Um, I do like some unisex scents, but I definitely do not go into more masculine scents personally. And so some of my favorite brands, I actually like a lot of the smaller brands. Ellis Brooklyn, um, uh, which is fantastic. It's a smaller brand. Commodity is one that I'll definitely talk about today that I love. Some of uh, Kay Alley's scents are really nice. And so if you're trying to figure out where I sit on the sweetness. They have like a pistachio gelato that is like a little nutty and a little sweet that I like. Mm -hmm. And then they have some of the sweet scents that are just too much for me. Let's, let's, let's go hard. Let's start, let's start hard. Some Chanel number five, but this is the Eau Premier. So this is not like the classic, classic, classic mm -hmm. Chanel number five, which is a bit heavier. Mm -hmm. This is a little bit lighter and is a slightly different formulation, but I like it as much as the original. So yeah. I will smell it. Uh, this smells like uh, rich people, and <laughs> I like that. Uh -huh. So, um, yeah, I think like it's a classic for a reason. I love that bit of powderiness, uh -huh. but it is also so, sort of floral, and it does have. It just has. It has those interesting, interesting notes yeah. that we do not always see anymore. I completely agree. Now. The kind of powdery scents are not ones that I'm often drawn towards wearing for myself, yeah. particularly if it's like a very strong floral plus a powder. Sure. But I actually think that this is a little bit more powder forward, which uh -huh. just like, I mean, you saw my reaction. It was just like, oh, it just smells so good. It's just nice. I'm going to go with Flower Bomb. Oh, so yes. I have Flower Bomb, but specifically Nectar. So this is the Victor and Rolf. Um, uh, flower bomb nectar. 
if I want to wear something floral, this is the thing that I'm going to wear that's floral because mm -hmm. the nectar really does add that little bit of sweetness to it. So give this a smell and let me know what you mm -hmm. think. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I agree. Like it is floral, definitely mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. flower bomb. Yep. Um, but yeah, I do smell that bit of licorice. It's like, it's like if you were to like eat some like caramelized flowers. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like this is for a very fun loving person. Yeah. Um, this, it feels youthful. Yeah. But not too young. Let's stick with the uh, Chanel theme. Uh, okay. Go with this one. This one is Coco Mademoiselle. This one also, this, okay. This makes me think you've got like really fancy luggage uh -huh. and you're going on a trip uh -huh. and all your luggage matches and it's uh -huh. like, like, you know, steam line luggage. You have like your steam line luggage set uh -huh. and you're just like waiting like on a train platform. Oh, how romantic. In France. I was going to say it has to be like in like yeah. Lyon, right? Oh, totally. Totally. Like, it's a bit more modern. This is something that feels like a woman who's like gone through a lot of scents and really understands her scent profile mm -hmm. would come to this. Like this yeah. is not a start scent right. um, agreed like, as um like vintage agreed. as the other one does completely you know i'm gonna pick one that actually um kind of like makes me not think about that so much but what my maybe response to that would be from clean reserve and its skin now, recently, I have been getting into scents that are just a bit fresher. Mm -hmm. um, that, that really, when you think about it, like this is called Skin. I have another one that I'm going to share that is in a very similar vein. And in fact, you know what? I'm just going to talk about it at the same time because I'm sure you'll have that. Do it. This is because this is Salt by Ellis Brooklyn. And this to me is just that. It's sun soaked like skin. Um, and then this is a little bit more complex. Like it's almost like this mm -hmm. is like the rudimentary version of this. I know you've smelled salt before. So start yes. with salt. Cause I do think it's like the uh -huh. simpler version where it really is just salt, but it is like, a um, sea. It is very much a sea it salt. It is. And it's like, yeah, I mean, it gives, it evokes lots of different, like it's very like organic, like it's an yeah. organic kind of salt. This is a very like, you know. Santa Monica Pier kind of scent for yeah. me. Like it feels very like laid back, yep. modern, yep. but like very fun. Yeah. Like yes. to me, this is something that I put on thinking about like having a really good date and maybe they're gonna get really close to different parts of me. Mm -hmm. I think that this is like a great scent for that because yeah. it is not musky, but it is, uh -huh. um, it is a little like it's body. There's it something is. very body it's about like, it. Literally and figuratively hot. Yes. So, um, and then this guy, uh, it's very, but this has like a, a bit of a floral element to it. Mm -hmm. um, give it a smell and tell me yes. what you think that extra layer is. Kat says it smells like shopping. It does. It does. Cause yeah, we went shopping and I was picking between them and I was like, well, this is the one you wear shopping. Yeah. And it is. This makes me think of so many scents that I wore in the early 2000s, mm -hmm. actually. Uh -huh. Makes me think of Tommy Girl. Mm -hmm. Kind of makes me think of Cool Waters as well, actually. Yeah. Uh, and, but it's very feminine. Yeah. There is actually like a powdery element to this one. A slight, a slight powdery. Yeah. yeah. It's mixed with a lot of other things. Which make it really fresh. It's very, yeah. very clean. The Sometimes powdery can feel a bit like heavy and this is Definitely. so light. Indeed, I'll, I'll do a little back to back as okay. well. Perfect. So I have got, I've got two Polo Ralph Lauren sets. Ooh, great. One that is, this is the pink pony one. Uh, and then this is red. Uh, and this one, is traditionally for the ladies. And this one is traditionally for the men. And this one definitely is more feminine, mm -hmm. you will see. And this one is more masculine, but I think this can easily play as a unisex scent. This one is extremely fresh. It's a little floral, tiny bit sweet, but not crazy. And um, yeah, it oh, really- to smell it. It really mm -hmm. is like, uh, you're gonna go play like flag football or like polo you know, just with your friends, you're all, you're all out there and you're all, uh -huh. you know, you're all just so American. Yeah. Yes. This is definitely the, one of the juiciest scents yes. that I know that you wear. Like, I love this. This is really like, 
it's definitely again a fruitier it version is. It than is. what you usually wear. Yeah. So I definitely would say if you like fruity scents, you yeah. would like this one. I think you would. Like, yeah, Ooh. it's more like a fruit smoothie. Yeah. Than a fruit pie. That's exactly it. That is exactly yeah. it. it. Is very fruit smoothie. It mm -hmm. is actually like, if what is the most high end version of Jamba Juice? Yes. Yes, this is like, yeah, designer job. Yeah, exactly. So this is red. This one is the one for for the, the masculine folks. And yeah, this one, like, maybe it's sandalwood that I'm smelling a okay. little much. Okay. And yeah, this is like, you know, they're nailing exactly what they're going for. This smells like a preppy man, <laughs> like a okay. preppy American man. Is oh, yep. It's like. starting to like waft my way a little. I'm excited. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, I think it's, it's rather light for a man. So that's why I say that like, yes, it's masculine. There are some traditionally masculine notes, um, but it being more woody, this could easily be for women. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And you know, it's interesting because from when it was wafting my direction, mm -hmm. I was getting a lot of the sandalwood, I was getting the very light, I was getting, and as I smell it up close, you get more of the cologne. Yes. You wear, that's where it really, to me this feels like, like when I'm thinking about like what a traditional cologne is, uh -huh. I definitely is this. But again, yeah. still very much something that definitely. anybody could wear. Um, it doesn't feel like it's so dramatically in that right. space. But like there would be no, if I had to smell this and I had to say cologne or perfume, I'm just gonna cologne. I agree. Like for sure, like I it's agree. very much that. Because it's got that depth to it. Yes. Like those deeper sort of darker notes yep. that tend to be in cologne. Yep. I would say it's interesting because like for me, it's a fall scent. Yeah. Because I like a more unisex or masculine sort of cologne for fall. That makes but sense. But if you're, if you're a man and you want to wear this, I don't know if I'd recommend it for fall. Like, yeah. I actually think yeah, yeah. this would be like a great summer scent. This is know. Ellis Brooklyn B. Okay. So this is, the reason I picked this next for, for this is this is a honey scent. This Ooh. is a honey, honey, honey scent. So it's B. And um, what I like about it for fall is that to me, it's like that sweet, if you like sweetness, if you like vanilla, if you like things that are really in that space, but you want something a bit richer for fall, this to me is my sweetest fall scent Sweet. because it really is honey. If you like the smell of honey, you're going to like this. And here, I'll, I'll let you smell this. I know not everybody likes this. Oh, wow. um, I know that one of my friends, uh, and she was like <laughs> having a bit of a sensitivity moment, but found it to be a bit cloying. I don't because it's such a natural sweet. It really is honey. Uh -huh. I also think it sits on the skin a bit better. It's I think it mixes with your skin a bit better than it just sitting out there because it is a little bit, it's one note in the way that it's distinctly honey, yeah. but I wouldn't say that it lacks depth. I it agree. just is really honey. And so I also think it makes a great layering scent. So I will sometimes mix this with salt. I'll sometimes have salt down That's first fun. and put this over top of it because it does then give a little bit extra of something. Yeah. So it's not just sweet. This really Brooklyn. gives me... Um, it's got a little bee on it. It's very like... Cute. Very cute. I would expect like a soap or a lotion or something mm -hmm. to smell like this. Mm -hmm. um, I, I have got to say, like, this hits me in a way where I'm like, am I going to pass out and die? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Which sounds more negative than I mean it to be. Uh -huh. um, but I really feel like that cloying yep. thing. The thing is, it has a definite, like, this one also has, like, a caramelization to it. Oh, for it, sure. It's this like you warm. let it cook in a little too long. Yeah. Um, but, like, you're still going to eat it because that's fun. Right. I smell, it's almost like a liqueur. Like, I smell. Uh -huh. Be happy if somebody else got it. I'd be like, wow, that's fun. Okay. This is Tory Burch, knock on wood. This smells like wood. It's like just like literal wood <laughs> like yeah. it smells just like wood and this is another one like with a lot of mine like very very preppy very um very preppy very like money you know like it's a real money scent mm -hmm. uh and this i think also could be daytime nighttime like I'm trying to think of what this kind of wood is it's like like it's like a baseball bat <laughs> <laughs> Wood. Literal wood. I really like this. Nice. I really like this. 
I, it may not be a scent that I would wear, uh -huh. but if it was like something that accidentally like got on me or something, I'd be like, I smell good. I could say it, but it's absolutely like just, just kind of wood. Uh -huh. Sort of like, it's like forest, but with like, with like lightning bugs. It's like forest at like dust. So I actually have um, one that we'll need to spray on a card because I'm almost out. And the reason I'm almost out is because I'm deciding whether or not I want to buy it. Oh, it's lovely. so different for me. Cool. But it's also woody. It's called a um, apre. It's very okay. like apre ski, uh -huh. and it is another um, Ellis Brooklyn. And to me, I think they have nailed the nailed the apre ski. The reason that I'm not sure if I want to buy it is because I actually have it as a home scent, and oh, I think it's fantastic sweet. as a home scent. And it is very much like pine mahogany but there is a freshness in it that's almost like snow which is crazy because it's water but like it's you know like there is like a, a fresh element that makes you think of like that powdered sparkling type and this is certainly unisex this smells a lot like one of mine i'll do this one next because Great. yeah it's like um very woody but also okay. very um, there's like a woody, there's like an alcohol yeah. to it, like a very like cognac -y kind of like old school, we're at the bar. Yeah. This is like somebody who writes poetry. Yes. I like this and it is definitely very unisex. Yeah. If you tend to like the same things that I like, like as you watch this and you're like, I love these things, you may not like this. There really is just is something that is, that I am drawn towards. It. I agree. I think that this is the one that if you like mine, you will like this one. Yeah. Smells a fair amount like Jazz Club. Ah, uh, Jazz me. Club. So I'm excited about this. Spray Jazz Club. Yeah. So like now that they're exactly the same, um, and we'll explain, we'll explain why, why you want one over the other. Yeah. But Jazz Club, Jazz Club has that and then like a sweetness. Mm -hmm. and like a fieriness mm -hmm. but it's definitely got it's like that woody thing but this is like this is great in my opinion for christmas shopping uh -huh. you should wear this christmas shopping if you celebrate oh, it's starting to come over this way it's so exciting it's nice like this is such like a dinner party scent mm -hmm. this is like you wear that one when you're alone writing your poetry with the book bag and uh -huh. then when you invite people over for a dinner party then you put this one on yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you know and it's so funny because I do feel like I'd be way more likely to actually wear this one I think over the one too. that I brought yeah. because it is lighter. It does have a bit of that sweetness. It does feel very holiday in that mm -hmm. way. Yeah. Um, it does feel like um, November, December, even yeah. January, like a great holiday or like, I would not wear this to work. Like this is not a work scent. This is a, this is an event scent. It is. It's definitely more like a party because it, it's it, a party it, kinda, scent. it smells like alcohol. Yeah. Like, yeah. Know, yeah like, a little bit. Maybe not want to smell like that at work. And I would, know? I would order this cocktail. Anyway, yeah, it's a great one. These are intended to be unisex. Yeah. Yeah. And that's like, this is like right on the edge of my profile. I think uh -huh. it's like I, right on the very, very edge, but I, but it's exciting, you know, and with that, because we've been talking about that, I'm going to bring out book by commodity. Yeah. I've been doing Scentbird. This is actually the first time I'm doing Scentbird. I'm kind of playing around with it, seeing, um, because I wanted to get a couple of, um, samples of something that I'm considering getting mm -hmm. more of. It is very papery, but they do have one called paper that is much more paper. Book adds that layer of like, um, maybe a little bit of that binding to it, right? The way when you open up a book and you get that like, oh, it's like an old book smell. It's not musty, uh -huh. but it is an old book, like an old book smell. And it's not sweet. It's one that is not in my sweet range at all. Wow. Um, it is a little earthy and that's what yes. makes me think of fall uh, yeah and thoughts? you're right it is it's very papery it, it yeah. really is yeah. um yeah it is it it's is so like nice. a personal library it's not yeah. like that it could be like a really high-end used bookstore yes um it has that level of like you know romance and depth i think it kind of smells like tea actually mm. it's like you're drinking tea and you're reading your old book i think it wears really beautifully i think it's really interesting and i yeah. think if people were to approach you they'd be like what are you wearing actually i think that with yeah. all of the commodity scents mm -hmm. they're very hard to put their finger on which i like a lot continuing with our replica ones next up we have by the fireplace this is an interesting one for me because i love this i think it's really good mm -hmm. there's 
there's a level of like a sweetness to it that is almost upsetting <laughs> to me. Like, but it depends on when you wear it, mm -hmm. you know, like, uh, cause it's not like, <laughs> I feel like that makes it sound like it's wildly problematic. It is not, but it's like way sweeter than I would expect it to be. Yeah. Burning wood and chestnut is the fragrance description on here. Mm -hmm. And it does smell like being by a fireplace, like, like a Christmas fireplace. Definitely. There's like, like a cinnamon in oh. here it's spicy like literally uh -huh. like spiced cookies or something uh -huh. um and it does smell like being by a fireplace like yeah it has that that smell of like you've been standing near burning wood uh-huh i very much got the spice yes before yes. i got any sort of like burning wood which is there but i actually would not describe this as smoky there are some scents that really smell smoky and i would expect a scent called by the fireplace to be smoky is you're absolutely right it's the spice things it's ginger snack cookies yes. and i think that's the reason like why very maybe, spicy which is why when you think about the sweetness it's not sweet in a gentle way it's sweet right. in a sharp way in the way absolutely. that ginger snack cookies are like red hot cinnamon candy is sweet in the way mm -hmm. that this is sweet one that like I couldn't wear because um, I feel like over the day I would end up passing out. Yes. But if somebody else were to wear it, it wouldn't be offensive. And it's interesting when it's on the skin, when you're wearing it throughout the day, it is much less overpowering sure. than smelling it now seems like it would be. Sure. But it is pretty sweet. Like yeah. it is one where uh, when I smell it here, uh -huh. I'm a bit like, should I put that on? But uh -huh. when I have worn it, no problem. One of my absolute favorites which is a complete surprise to me. It is called Memoirs of a Trespasser. Mm. It is by Imaginary Authors. I love Imaginary Authors. They're a very interesting brand that imagines literature and that's how they describe their scents. So you get a plot and that's, that's how right. it's described the scent, which is so interesting. So this is Memoirs of a Trespasser. And when I first smelled this, I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. Mm. And now I love it because it is like mahogany and vanilla. This smells like a cabin, like like a woody, burning fire, fireplace kind of thing. Yeah, but not I at all agree. smoky. No hint yeah. of smoke in it though, because I yeah. don't like smoke. I agree. This I is agree. a, that's where you get the alcohol. You get more of the alcohol or it's bourbon like over. It's not currently, like the fireplace is not currently on, but it has been in the past. Mm -hmm. You know what this smells like? Um, Growing up, I assume you may have gone. Yeah. Did you ever go to the Littleton Historical Museum? Yes, I did. This smells like the Littleton Historical Museum. Yeah, there is something um, old worldly yeah. about it. Yeah. If you've ever done a homestead visit of any kind, yes. where they like, where you like make your own butter or you like bake a cinnamon cake mm -hmm. or something, this is very much that. But I, yeah. I really do want to emphasize that there, that from those things, it is not. Heavy. Okay. And I think I get a compliment every single time I wear it. Now we're going to shift gears entirely. Oh! And we're going to do some Kate Spade. This is Live uh, Colorfully. Love it. And this one, love, 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 love. So it excited. It actually reminds me a lot of another set that I used to wear a lot. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's like the other scent was very like heavy on orange flower. Uh -huh. And so this is very similar to that. So it's like very floral. Um, this could definitely be a not fall scent. Part of mm. why for me it's a fall scent is because it reminds me of this other one that I used to wear. Ah. That was actually, it's a discontinued Victoria's Secret scent that I wore in college. And then I picked this up later and I was like, this smells like that orange flower perfume. Very like romantic mm -hmm. in a very modern sort of way. Oh yeah. Very, very floral. And this is this is where my taste profile shifts. I can't mm -hmm. wear anything this floral because there's not really another element yeah. other than floral. Mm -hmm. That's not to say this is not does not have depth. It's right. just that all of the depth is floral. It's just more floral. Exactly. It's like floral on floral. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's very bouquet. Um, and it's a beautiful smelling bouquet. This is gorgeous. Again, if I hug somebody, I would be like, you smell very pretty. And very, it's very feminine. pretty. Yeah. Very feminine, very pretty, but it's just like so floral. It is. It actually smells so perfect. like the bottle looks. It does. 
and they, really did, they did a great job spade, actually they yeah. did a great job it really does like the even yes. the fact that it's square but the edges are just like very slightly rounded uh -huh. and it feels because it, it's not a round scent it does feel like it has angles to it it does yeah sanctuary which is um Vaquita Dolphin. This is one that I got in my scent bird that um, to me, the reason that it's fall is is because it's like, um, like the, it actually fits in very well with the salt and the clean mm -hmm. from earlier, but it definitely is way more complex than either of those. Those are very body, like skin, those are very skin. This is definitely has like that water lily and mm. this is like, for me, this is the kind of floral I could go with it because there's that like, it's like salt air coming off the ocean mixed with like water lily. Here, smell yeah, this. I'm getting a bit of it, yeah. And it is, to me, it is, um, what's interesting about this brand is that each of the scents are named after a different animal and that are like endangered and it goes to protect them. Uh, that's why the brand is called Sanctuary. And so this really water-based sea scent uh -huh. is for dolphins. This smells like a resort lobby. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, especially like at a tropical destination. Uh-huh. Uh, or more like a summertime destination. Yeah. But um, that doesn't make it like a summertime scent. Right. Because they're using it there year-round. Year -round. And so, yeah, really, yeah, this very much gets me like, you are going to check in at the resort Check in at the yeah. lobby. It so is fresh, very fresh, and very natural like a juice. Actually, like it's like a juice. Mm -hmm. We're gonna hit you with another floral. Yes. So this is Get Oscar De La Renta Esprit uh -huh. Oscar Esprit Dosca. <laughs> it's floral. I would say this one actually reminds me in some ways of Chanel Number no. Five, mm -hmm. especially uh, the old premiere that we were smelling earlier. It has some similar things where it's a little floral, a little powdery. This one's definitely lighter. Like mm. I think a lot more people that aren't into the traditional would be into this Esprit d'Oscar. Uh-huh. Um, and yeah, it's sweet oh, floral. This it's, it's a lovely one. This floral is is definitely like this is more uh in my vein. Uh -huh. It's not it's still not something I would necessarily gravitate towards. You know what it is? It is almost the ex not the exact middle, but it feels so much like the first Chanel number no. five uh -huh. and the most recent Kate Spade. Yes. Because there's a powdery element. There's a powdery element to this mm -hmm. that you put the powdery with the floral and you get this. Yes. So it smells like very traditional perfume, but it is still feels a little bit modern. Ah, absolutely love that. Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. And now here's the interesting thing about this, is that it is a completely synthetic scent. So there is no scent notes to it. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, it is it has works. no scent notes. It is completely its own thing, which is quite why it's called not a perfume. Uh -huh. And it is a little hard to describe because of that. But yes. I would say that in without being able to point, pinpoint a scent note, it is clean. Yep. It's fresh. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit skin-like. Yep. But it is a scent that is not, that would not just like occur on your body naturally. Totally. It is certainly a scent. It is it is a fragrance, but it is not sharp in any right. way. It's not sweet in any way. Right. It's not woody in any way. Yep. It's not floral in any way. Yeah. It is just really clean. It is like a, it's Maybe, maybe soapy, but more of a, a more of a fragrance. It is. It's like the tiniest bit musky, the tiniest, tiniest bit. Yep. Mm -hmm. In a really light sort of way. Yep. Um. Yeah. It's interesting. It smells kind of like a candle. Like I, yeah. I expect lots of candles to smell like this. Yeah. Uh, where it is like there are like hints of things mm -hmm. rather than it being like this smells like lilies. Like right. it's not like that. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Like, tiniest bit soapy, tiniest bit musky. I think that it is yep. um, really good for every day because it Very is good. so general. This one's still in its uh, boxy box because it's a cute box. This is just the uh, the eponymous uh, Carolina Herrera. So, 
Can I get it out of the box? Nope. <laughs> that's, that's the lid. That's what it looks like. It's pretty. It is definitely more of a traditional scent, okay. in my opinion. Um, it is definitely sort of floral. Um, it smells like a department store in 1995. Oh, oh, that's nostalgic. Oh, I like it that. It smells like to me. Mm -hmm. um, it smells like uh, in the 90s, if you were to go to Disney World and there would be soaps at the hotel, it smells like that. I that's what it smells like to me. Love that reference. Like a literal soap. Yes. That is exactly what it smells like. And it smells like the soap is in the shape of a seashell. Yes. Or something. It a is, seashell show. It is. It, seashell show. Show. it is exactly that. You are so yeah. right. You've nailed it. There is something so nostalgic about it. There is something so luxury about it. I it to me, it smells like a wealthy relative. Yep. That you like, that brings you the best gifts. Uh -huh. But for me, it definitely is like, it's not like a, a, a cousin. It's not a peer. It's definitely like an aunt. Yes. It is definitely yes, like an, an aunt. Coastal grandmother. Coastal grandmother. That's what this is. A thousand percent. So this is called Pinrose, or this is from Pinrose called Secret Genius. I'm um, really excited we got this in a whatnot haul. Mm -hmm. This card. Okay, you talk about it. I'll be right back. Great. We're gonna we're gonna just you and I. We're gonna have a little conversation. Okay. So we described the scent yesterday as like warm baked blueberry muffin, and I think that's part of the reason why it's a fall scent for me. Even though I would actually wear it all year round, it doesn't smell specifically like. Even though it's it's very blueberry, it's very like. Or it's like, I called it a baked tart. Like you walked into a, a bakery and a baked tart was there. It's kind of blackberry, kind of blueberry. So it's definitely sweet and warm, but it's not, um, yeah, it's it's not that candied thing. It's a very, caught more cards. It's a very um, homey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So fresh, so clean. Fresh, clean. So fresh and so clean, clean. Baked goods. Uh huh. Baked tart. It is, and like it's you're, great. It's just you're great. Like fresh, like you're yeah. eating baked goods, but you're like actually these are like they're really good for me. Like they have actual fruit in them. Yes. Like I'm getting vitamins. Yeah. This next one, uh, we have got it's the Labo. Another thirteen. I'm screen. excited because I've actually never s smelled any of the Labo scents. Oh, this will be my first thing. Very woody, very light, actually, for okay. a woody scent. Yeah. And, um, yeah, very woody. Oh, I love this. Yeah. Not this feels like it would be absolutely be someone's signature scent. Yes. This is, it's light, it's fresh. There's nothing offensive about it. Mm -hmm. It's very, very modern. Very, very modern. modern. Um, anybody would smell good wearing this. Any person would smell good wearing this. It's it's uh, luxurious. It's special. Yep. It's not generic. For Even though I say Definitely. it would work for anybody, it's not generic. Yeah, I would say, like, it's not challenging yes if that yes. makes sense yes yeah like it yeah. just is what it is yeah and you smell it and you're like oh there it is and it's like, just kind of light kind of lovely yeah. it's just lovely um just because it's in the, this little um, action yeah because it's in this sample size because i did get you can get a sampler set of commodity and uh i would recommend it okay this is called gold this is their sweetest scent hmm but it is so warm, so caramel, so like um, creamy. And it is just like, it's it's very desserty. but in the same way we were talking about the other one that was like uh -huh. fresh baked and not artificial. Yes. It's very much the dessert that you're like, that is like, oh my God, it's 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 my birthday and I get to have the, the dessert, the cake, uh -huh, the thing. Yeah. Here. This smells like something I would love to eat. Yeah. Like I would love to eat this. And yeah. I like a salty dessert. Yeah. Like not wildly salty, but like tiramisu or like, yeah, salt caramel. There, uh, there's real depth to it, but it is very sweet. Definitely. But like, I don't know. I don't know if I would wear it. I might. Sure. I might. It might be too sweet for me. Yeah. Um, but like, yeah, I mean. It's it's sort of like it really is kind of like a grown up version of like a Bath and Body Works warm vanilla sugar. Yes, which was my Bath and Body Works yeah. scent, and it do, this does feel like a yeah a luxury version of that. 
is Tom Ford, Ood Wood. And I don't, I don't, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really understand what Ood is. And yeah. all the reviews I've seen of this, they're like, it's not Ood. And you know what? I'll take your word for it. Must not be Ood. I don't know. I'll I, find out later. You yeah, know, I'm I learning. Know. Um, but it is wood. It does smell like wood. So the reason that I got this is because I was on, and I told you this yesterday, but act like I haven't told you yet. Okay. <laughs> um, so the reason that I got this is that I, so if you've been watching, you know every once in a while I bring up Succession. I really mm -hmm. loved Succession. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorite shows now. Mm -hmm. And I loved the fashion on Succession. So I needed a scent yeah. to wear with my Succession yeah. outfits. And I'm like, cool. If I'm gonna dress like Kendall Roy, how do I think he would smell? And it is Tom Ford, Oud Wood. It's definitely woody. It's definitely like, it's definitely rich boy. Like this really smells like rich boy. And that's why I wanted it. So like, wouldn't it be funny if I smelled like rich boy? Like, and it's just perfect. Well, Kendall Roy. A thousand percent. Yeah, definitely woody. Um, it's a lighter wood, it's a medium wood. To me, Agreed. this does it's not like the sandalwood, it's not like the mahogany. There's mm -hmm. a real medium space in here. Definitely. But and it's so not good pine. For daytime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's also pine is very specific. It's not that. Yeah. Um and it's it not as dramatic boy. as like jazz club or something. Right. Like. Yeah. And I think it's interesting as a unisex mm -hmm. set. I think that it really it communicates something that I think is an interesting choice. I love that. It is also a commodity scent. It is called milk it is you can see there's not much left in it it is this is my current absolute favorite scent mm -hmm. i love this scent so dearly in fact do we have one last card you sure do because i think that we need to like really get the full experience of it because i know kat has smelled this before because it was part of a discovery set but i think i just I gave you. my hand in my coffee cup oh perfect mm -hmm. I think I, I gave you, maybe to give you the discovery set? Yes, you I did. Think I also, because I think I got one for and me. And this was my favorite from the discovery set. Because I think I got the same discovery set for myself, and I was like, you also need this. Yep. So, Love okay. It. This scent is sweet, warm, creamy, but it is unlike anything else. I wore it. I've worn it a couple different times that were notable. Uh, one of the times I wore it, I was uh, walking through a home with one of my friends. When I walked past the realtor, she was, she thought that the home, it was the home she was smelling, but it was my perfume. And she was like, this smells, it smells so good. It smells amazing in here. And then as she was walking by me, she was like, oh no, that's you. You're the one that, so this maybe makes you smell like a $2 million home. That's great. Which is, I think, incredible. It's, it was hands down my favorite item that just <sighs> It is so, so good. It's so unique. People will want to know what it is, and it's it is yeah, it's romantic, it's but it's it's like and here's what I'll say: I know what the scent notes are. I'm not going to say them, and I encourage you to actually maybe not look at them because I don't think that the scent notes properly describe what is in here. I agree because I think I also know what they are. And it, yeah. it if I had read the scent notes, I would have been like, "That's not for me." Or I would have thought it was way too sweet. And it doesn't make any sense. The scent notes yeah, don't make this sense. This is not particularly sweet. To what this is. This, I agree with you. It's got like the depth, like you say, of a chai. Yeah. Like, it really is. It's something like that where it's like you've gotten almond milk in your coffee. Yeah. Like where it's adding like a, a nuttiness, a mm -hmm. depth to it. Mm -hmm. um, that's not, it's not not sweet, but yeah. it's not overly sweet. I yeah. am obsessed with it. That is all of them. So we've gone through them. You've heard what we think. And now we are going to award them their titles for yeah. today. So the first one we said was date night, right? Date night. So date. Yeah. What are you going to wear on a date? Okay. What are you gonna wear on a date? I'm going to wear Memoirs of Trespasser. Nice. And I am going to wear it Live Colorfully. That's what I would is. also wear that on a date. Yeah. I think that that's fabulous. Yeah. What's next? Yeah. Work. 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 What are we gonna wear to work? Okay, okay. what okay. are we wearing to work? All right, clean. And I'm gonna wear the pink pony. Here's what we're wearing every day. Juliet has a gun, not a Good perfume. Choice. And the Chanel number no. five, oh, premiere. Yeah. I would wear either of these for I, every day. I would too. It's like overall favorite from each other's. Uh, yes, overall, okay. if I were to steal one from yours and you were to steal one from mine, yes. what would you take? Okay. Okay, ready? Ready? Uh-huh, set. 
I went with milk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Most fall scent. Most, Most fall. fall scent. I went with jazz club. I went with book. This is upside down. Nice, good old book. That's the best in show. The best in show. Best in show. Picking it was really hard. All right, let's do okay. it. Ready? Ready? Mm -hmm. My milk. Cake spade. Milk. So that is them. Thank you for hanging out with us. Oh today. my gosh, so fun. Thank Very you for having fun. me. Yes, we would love to have you back. Oh. I will leave some links below where you can find Lisa elsewhere. She actually is a stylist. So if you need some revamping of your own personal style, mm -hmm. if you're working through some things like that, you want an outside professional opinion, this is who you should go to. Yeah, and I work with everybody uh literally everybody yes. and i do virtual services as well um and i work on a sliding price scale so yes hit me up there is a package for you if it's something you're interested in you absolutely should so check that out as i said i'll leave links below for any of these that i can find the links for which i think should probably be most of them so you can check those out and uh we will be back with some kind of video next Monday. So be sure to come back here. I will have something for you. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next Monday for another video. Bye. Bye.